So the question is, if W, X, Y and Z are Boolean variables, then which one of the following is incorrect? And you are given four options. So as I said that you need to solve the options and attain the answer so that you can match from the right hand side and the answer or reduction form of left hand side and then keep solving all the parts till one of the options comes out to be incorrect that means the right hand side and the left hand side both the reduced forms do not match okay so we'll start with option a let's write down what is option a the left hand side wx plus w multiplied by x plus y plus x into x plus y so if we expand this what we will get we would get wx plus wx plus wy i'm just applying the distributive law or the i'm just multiplying w with all the variables that are present inside the bracket okay plus x into x plus x into y all right now how can i reduce this see wx plus wx if both these see if the value of wx is 0 then 0 plus 0 would again be 0 and if it is 1 then 1 plus 1 would give you 1 so instead of both these terms i can write as a single wx term plus wy plus x into x now x into x is basically either if x is 0 then it would be 0 dot 0 or you can say it can be written as 1 dot 1 okay so i for now whatever would be the multiplication then the value would come out to be x only so what do i actually mean by that see if x is 0 0 dot 0 or x dot x would again be 0 if x is 1 then x dot x that means 1 dot 1 would be 1 so i can write it as x only because in case of x equal to 0 the output is 0 in case of x equal to 1 the output is 1 now i write the last term as it is now from this term i can further reduce it by writing it as x taking x common from this term i get y, i get w then there is no x in this term if i take x common from this term i get 1 okay because x can also be written as x into 1 all right now if i take x common from this term i get y so this expression is equivalent to x into and this remaining term would come here so wy plus this now this term can be written as x into see 1 plus anything would give you 1 only because in case of plus operator or or operator if you are oring the value with any variable the one or the true value with any variable the value or the outcome would come out to be one only because one odd with any value either zero or one would give you one only all right so i'm writing it as one plus wy so this value reduces to x plus wy now let's see what is the right hand side the right hand side is the same so this is correct we have to find which option is incorrect okay so now let's proceed to the second option the b option so the b option has wx complement multiplied by y plus z complement whole complement plus w complement x okay and you are given the right hand side now if you apply de morgan's law directly then every uh, value would be negated as well as the operator would also change so what do i mean by that see this by applying the de morgan's law to this we, what we would get w would be negated or complemented and it would become w bar now w was initially being multiplied or there was an and operator between w and x bar now this operator would be replaced with plus x bar would be complemented and it would become x and applying this law further i would get y bar dot z okay 
and the remaining term as it is. Now w bar plus x plus y bar z plus w bar x. This can be reduced to the expression w bar plus y bar z plus x taking x as common from the second and the last term I write it as 1 plus w bar again following this property that or with 1 gives 1 then this would be reduced to w bar plus y bar z plus x okay and let's check what is the right hand side w bar y bar z plus x so yes this is also correct now let's come to the c option and see if it is correct or incorrect so this statement is or this expression is this y plus x z bar plus w bar x bar or you can also say complement then let's reduce it first let's multiply and then see how it can be reduced w x complement multiplied by y plus w x complement multiplied by x multiplied by z complement plus w complement x complement and this entire expression is multiplied by y so let's further multiply it by y and then see w x complement y again multiplied by y plus w x complement multiplied by or when i say multiplied by i am basically meaning that it is the AND operator that is in operation right now. So W AND X complement AND X AND Z complement AND Y plus W complement AND X complement AND Y. Now Y AND Y is again Y. So I can write it as W X complement Y plus C X and with x complement would always give 0 because if x is equal to 0 then x complement would be 1 and 1 and it with 0 would give you 0. Similarly if x is equal to 1 complement would be 0 and again 1 and with 0 would give you 0. So this would reduce to w and 0 and z complement and y plus w complement x complement and y now anything multiplied or anything ended with 0 is 0 so i am reduced to the expression w x complement y plus w complement x complement y now if i take x complement y common i'll be left with 1 plus uh, x complement y common so i'll be left with w plus w complement and if w is equal to 1 this expression would be equal to 1 if w is equal to 0 w complement would be 1 and again this expression would be equal to 1 so it would be something like this so it can be reduced to x complement and with y so the reduced form is x complement y but here it has been given as x y complement so this is not correct and this is the incorrect option so this would be our answer because we had to mark the incorrect option so this question was not at all easy as i stated initially but at every step you need to remember what laws are applicable you need to solve to the most easier form or the simplest reducible form that you can solve and then compare sometimes students reduce it to a form that does not match with the right hand side that is given and although their answer is correct to some extent but you try and you know you need to try to reduce it to a form that is almost similar or equal to the form that is given on the right hand side and if in case it is not matching just like c option then you mark such answers okay so you need to confirm that in case your answer is not matching is there any alternate step so that you can 
arrive to the answer that is specified but here we saw that there is no alternate step okay we almost followed the basic steps of multiplication and 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 or and there are no alternatives that we could have followed to arrive at a different answer so c is the answer here given that the representation of the value of a 16 bit unsigned integer x in hexadecimal is b c a 9 and we have to tell the representation of this value in octal number so this is a very easy question if you expand this hexadecimal notation in binary we will find out that b can be written as 1011 c can be written as 1100 10 or a can be written as 1010 and 9 can be written as 1001 so together this can be represented as 1011 1100 1010 and 1001 now if we group it in the 3 3 the a group containing 3 digits or 3 binary digit the groups would come out to be like this and writing the numbers corresponding to these groups would give me the value of 136251 so the octal representation would be 136251 and this is octal so we write 8 so this is a very easy question the answer is d here in this we just converted hexadecimal to binary and then for converting from binary to octal we grouped the digits from right to left in terms in groups of three digits all right three binary digits now coming to the next question the question states that the given binary number is in 32 bit IEEE 754 format and this is the number the decimal value closest to this floating point number is and you are given the options now you have to remember that in IEEE 754 format the number is divided into three parts the first is sign bit next is exponent and the third is mantissa Alright, so the sign bit is 1 bit in, in this case, exponent is of 8 bits and the remaining 23 bits are reserved for mantissa. So in this case, we start reading our number from left and the given number, in this given number, the sign bit would be the leftmost bit which is 0 this all right then the next eight bits would represent the exponent and the exponent would be zero triple one double one double zero all right so the exponent value would be zero triple one double one double zero and the remaining 23 bits would be mantissa now you have to remember that in IEEE 754 format exponent is used to represent both positive and negative exponent values so this value is written or expressed in excess 127 code what do we mean by excess 127 that means the actual value will be obtained by subtracting 127 from this value given or you can also say this value is more or excess by 127 as compared to the original value so if we express this value this would come out to be around 124 and if you have to obtain the correct value correct actual exponent value you will subtract 127 from this and you will get minus 3 so this number represents an exponent of minus 3 now coming to the mantissa mantissa is generally represented as one point followed by certain fraction bits all right these are represented as fraction bits or i am saying or referring to them as f in this case these bits are double one zero double one zero one and followed by remaining zero which make it a total of 23 bits all right but if we write it down in implicit normalization form that means if we only consider the non-zero initial part then the mantissa 
can be expressed as one sorry one point one one zero double one zero one or and the final number using all these three components can be expressed as one point one one zero double one zero one multiplied by two to the power of exponent that we calculated which is minus three so this can be written as zero point zero zero and this number so this would come out to be triple one zero one one and zero one so the final answer that means the decimal value closest to this representation is zero point two two seven which is equal to 2.27 into 10 raised to power minus 1. If you convert it, you will get this value. And this option is represented by option C. So these were two questions based on digital logic concepts. They are very easy to grab. So you can quickly solve them and grab the marks in respective papers. Thank you for watching the video. If you understood the both the questions please like this video and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel of easy engineering classes to stay updated with the new videos on other computer science related subjects as well as our preparation series for gate ugc net and bank it officer exams thank you